Hi, I'm Rob from Hobzine.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we're looking at another beer from the Otter Brewery. And they're down in Devon. Yeah, in Devon. So this is their Otter Head. 5.8%. I mean, it's, it's won the Good Taste Award in the past. So. I've never had this one. The only one I've ever had. Uh, and Actually, no, I've had their Amber. I've had their Amber at the Fighting Cock in Bradford. But um, I've also I've reviewed the... Um, Bright, and I've also had that on draft, but I've never had this, and I, clearly it's one of their ones what they make a bit more of a song and dance about. An award winner. Let's get this in the glass, so 5.8%. I have never had this. Big thanks to the people at um, Otter for sending these beers over for reviewing. Probably got one more left to review. Actually, they're sending me their Christmas beer as well, which I'm looking forward to. Anyway. I don't really say anything in the bottle. Ooh, interesting. If I get quick, I ain't got much, <laughs> I ain't got much life left on my battery. But so we've got kind of orangey amber, very clear. Kind of eggshell, maybe with a slight orangey hue, kind of foamy head. Anyway, the aroma's pretty special actually. Oh, I've never smelled anything like it. A real kind of, it smells alcoholic in a way, but it doesn't have that alcohol burn. It's got, um, it smells like like Quantro or something. It's got a real um, evident kind of stewed oranges f smell to it, which is kind of heading towards a barley wine. It's that, it's that rich, robust, full orangey aroma, but not like an IPA where it's all lively. It's kind of like a real concentrated orange and figs and raisins it reminds me a lot of a lot of beers a lot of stronger beers maybe a, a bit like it's got a certain Belgian quality to it because it is all about um, big kind of those flavors being brought together by a combination of hops um, malt and yeast it's all the combination of those three ingredients nothing is doing more than the others but yeah kind of, it reminds me of a barley wine but an English barley wine opposed to like a big American hoppy one. But that's really interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Anyway, cheers. Ooh. Wow. That's really interesting. That's really interesting. As I, as I was just taking a bit more in, got some cloves. Just as like we were about to enter my mouth. Flavour. Maybe, maybe there's a slightly kind of like dessert wine quality, like a really kind of there's a, that sweetness and and um, size you get from a, a wine, I guess, the size of a, the alcohol, I guess. Oranges, once again, definitely raisins, quite quite raisiny. Ooh, it's a nice bit, of, a nice amount of hops there. Once again, the kind of, it's once again reminding me of Belgian beers, something like uh, the beers from De Dol. Um I mean, it's not you. It, there's hops in there, but it's not about the kind of citrusy, punchy um, kind of qualities of hops. The, the freshness, it's kind of this rough, robust kind of hop quality. Kind of a slight banana quality right at the back end there. Maybe like a Madeira cake, like a Madeira cake that's been soaked in um, maybe rum or sherry or something like that. Because there's something that does make me think of spirits, but not because it's strong, it's those, that kind of distilled um, flavour and that kind of. Um, it's like a really. Kind of aged, aged fruit and dried fruit kind of flavour. It, it's kind of quite nice when you when you the aroma is quite big and bold. It reminds me of barley wine, but when it goes down, it's quite it's very very balanced. Mouth feels nice, kind of quite medium, perfect for this size of beer. 
the hops a little back end there. Marmalade, quite a burnt marmalade. That that's lingering as well. It's a nice kind of um, it's kind of attacked by a fly. Um, a nice kind of orange peel, not pithy, but the kind of taste of orange peel. Maybe you peeled the orange and you left it on the side for maybe half an hour, and then you had a bit of a bit of a chew on it. Yeah, like stewed fruits, raisins orange peel maybe a mild kind of apricot maybe the the, the flavor of a, a peach stone as well smells boozier than I were expecting but in the mouth very balanced very palatable and very interesting I guess it's one of those beers what appears quite quintessentially British it's a if it were darker and a little bit stronger you call it a winter warm and it's got all those qualities anyway that's that's not bad at all I'll have another drop and I'll toast you farewell <clears throat> so that is a bottle of Otter Head from the Otter Brewery in Devon so yeah big thanks to the guys at Otter check these guys out online and I'll see you soon cheers <laughs>